Throughout the last year or so, my wife and I have been trying to renovate this piece of real estate back here into a rental property for only $20 out of pocket. And we're trying to do that by taking the money to thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales, buying stuff to sell online and using the profits from those flips to put towards the renovation budget. We've definitely made a lot of progress on the house, but we still have a ways to go, obviously. Don't even have any upper cabinets in the kitchen yet. The most recent project we've been working on is replacing all the ceiling fans in the house. I did the one in the living room right here a couple months ago, and that was successful, but to be completely honest with you guys I hate replacing ceiling fans so we went ahead and hired out the other three we have this one in the guest bedroom this one in the primary bedroom and this one in the other guest bedroom and our friend Dean uh, also known as Dean and Dunn handyman on YouTube came over a couple days ago and knocked these three out for us and charged us a total of $300. So in my opinion, 300 bucks to install three ceiling fans is totally worth it. Dean actually only wanted to charge us $75 per fan, but we always like to pay him a little bit extra for the work he does for us because he shows up on time, usually the next day or two days later, uh, and does a great job. So we gotta take care of people that take care of us. But the problem is right now we only have $126.54 in the budget and Dean has clearly already installed the ceiling fan. So we've got to send him this money by tomorrow, which means we have to make up a deficit of $173.46 in the next 24 hours. So we gotta to head to the thrift store. Quick congratulations to Kelly Davis for winning our YouTube giveaway we did three or four videos ago. If you guys got any replies to your comments from someone that looked like us saying that you won something that was a scam, do not message them. You didn't win anything. So sorry, Kelly Davis is the only winner. Kelly, shoot us an email. Today we're heading into the Goodwill outlet on half price day. So everything in here is gonna be just 89 cents per pound. Low fro. This looks like a camera bag, which usually do pretty well for us. I don't know the brand. I'm gonna grab that. We got a little beer Bradley bag down here, I think. Yeah, beer Bradley. Big. I'm gonna go with Sully. Sully action figure. He talks. <laughs> That's Chewbacca. It's like a lunch bag. Something. Yeah, it's like a little thermos lunch bag. Let's see this go. It's a backpack, I think. LeBron. Nike backpack. Yeah, looks to be in great shape. Look at this painting right here. It actually is a real painting sign from 1987. I think I'll grab that for the booth. There's another one under here. It's also a sign painting. What do you think about that for the booth? That's really cool. Yeah. We saw this Kipling bag, which is a pretty cool little like tote. It's a cool color. Well, I don't know, it's a little stain. We can wash it and see if it works. Just saw this logo, the Kavu. Oh, embroidery. I think the length is good. Hat, a little horse on the front. A little bit of standing, but it'll definitely clean up. Okay, you guys, unfortunately my camera has not been working, so I just switched with Josh and he has his phone. But I got a lot of cool things that I haven't shown you guys yet. This is a Pokemon with a tag. I got a lot of plush today. This is like a little Klepto cat. We've got a couple little like, there's a mini here. I got a Mickey, Mickey right there. I've got a little like vampire Squishmallow guy. Um, I have this coach bag, which is pretty dirty. I don't know if it's real, but I'll look at it in a second. It's a little too crazy in here right now. Got a little Carhartt bag that needs some cleaning. Got a little dinosaur. And then the best uh, the best plush find is this little jelly cat. You guys need to be on the lookout for jelly cats. These sell really well. It's a cute little like flamingo guy. Let's see. And I found an Xbox 360, which I may not get. It doesn't have any cords, but I'm gonna hold on to it for now in case I find any of the extra pieces. So I've been digging for a while. I found a couple things. I got this purse. The brand is Wojas, W-O-J-A-S. It's 100% leather. Never heard of that brand before, but it's in great shape. Definitely gonna grab that. I've got two, three pairs of shoes here. Some New Balance 990s. They're in pretty solid condition. A little bit of wear to the bottom. Uh, and I don't know what the size is. The size tag is worn off completely. And they're missing insoles, but I'm like, eh, we can figure out the size. Those are, even even in the current condition, we could still get like 30 bucks for them pretty easily. Got a pair of Olakai slip-ons. They're in pretty good shape, just a little dirty. Those should be an extra, you know, maybe 25 bucks on those. And this pair of Asics shoes. Again, a little bit of wear to the bottom. These are men's 14, missing insoles. 
but I still think that's another 20 bucks or so pretty easily. Got another Vera Bradley tote. <laughs> got this thing. I don't know what the heck that is. It's got a beaver tail, skunk, rabbit, raccoon hybrid. I don't know. I think Haley put this in there, little pig. I've got this cool little piggy bank for our um, antique booth. I don't think it's worth a lot of money, but I think that was kind of cool. Let's shove that in there. And I think the only other thing I got is this Mario hat. Maybe I'll wear that during whatnot. All right, made a little bit more progress. Check out this peanut M&M's, not peanut M&M's, mini M&M's hat. It's made in China, so I don't think it's vintage or anything, but very cool. Yeah, I think it might be a kid's size too. Looks kind of tiny. Got a couple other hats, a little embroidered sunflower, Florida State Seminoles. I got this little pumpkin. It's just kind of cute, it's like a yarn. Might stick that in the antique booth. Uh, master's hat, a lady gave me that for free. That's awesome, some of the American needle tag. I got this really nice floral, um, like apron, like kitchen apron. It's got a couple little stains on there, but I really like that. I got a Darth Vader, oops, Darth Vader trick or treat bucket with a little Halloween guy in there. I got this Smurf plush, which is, it, he's dressed up like a Native American, which may be questionable in today's time, but he's vintage. I feel like he's grandfathered in. He's got a little something on his face, but I feel like we could get him cleaned up and he might actually be fairly valuable since you can't really make plush like this anymore. And I think the only other thing I got is this little Stoopy of Stoopy Snoopy of Woodstock being either dressed up like Rangers or something. So pretty cool. Almost forgot Miss Jackie, who's Zoe's mom, gave me this putter. She was gonna get it, but then she decided to pass on it. It is a vintage made in USA zebra uh, putter. These are okay, probably like 25 bucks or so. Maybe 30. It's kind of a cool like white and green, maybe like New York Jets colorway. Very cool. We spent a total of $25.30 in the Goodwill bins today, bringing our budget down to $101.24. Haley didn't tell me that she had a whole bag of well, plush. Uh, okay, so. we were a little frantic. There were a lot of people around. We were talking to some old friends. So yeah, uh, we didn't pull out all of our plush. We probably could have saved a little bit of money yeah. if we had done that. I did, yeah, I didn't know. We probably could have saved like five or six bucks, maybe. It was like $29 I rounded up for the job connection program, but obviously it's still very profitable. So we're back at the warehouse getting ready to do a quick whatnot auction with most of the stuff we picked up at the bins today. We do have a good pile of stuff that is either damaged that I didn't see or needs washing before we can sell it. So over here, I'm actually gonna do that at the booth and we're gonna put this Columbia hat that um, Haley found at our booth as well, just cause it's Clemson. And uh, to be honest with you guys, we haven't had huge luck selling Clemson and Carolina branded things on whatnot. So I think that'll actually do better in our booth and it will on whatnot this fear of bradley tote i thought it was good but as you can see the handle is like all peely and stuff and it's just it's trash same thing with this purse that i got it's a the brand is wojas or whatever but the strap has been cut so i don't know if we're going to try to fix it replace the strap or whatever but either way we're not going to put it in today's auction um all this stuff over here is what Haley got i think it just needs to be washed this bag should do pretty well this kipling bag it just has a little stain at the bottom somewhere and on the insides we're gonna have to get that washed up same with that coach bag this pair of asic shoes that i got unfortunately they are peeling along the sides right here so i'm not gonna put those so we probably should have not shopped so fast today we probably should have like taken a second look at the stuff we put it in our bags but still it was half price day we don't have a lot of money in this stuff so hopefully the items that we have in our auction today will do very well. I still don't know what this guy is. <laughs> I think he's just a mixture of every stuffed animal there is. Uh, but we've got, I think, 20, 28 or 29 items in today's show. So stick around. We'll just tell you how it went. Oh, so this Lego hat. Okay, we got this hat in today's video. You guys saw that. As I edit today's video, I realize there's a lot of little small things that we found that we don't actually have video footage of. And I don't know if it's because Haley's camera was messing up or I just forgot to record it with my phone. But either way, we picked up some new GoPro Hero 12s today to hopefully remedy our camera issues going forward. So, so sorry about that. We got this hat at the bins today. It was probably 50 cents or something. But if you remember a couple videos ago, we bought like a like a, a bag of mini of Lego pieces and a couple minifigures and we lost them. We couldn't, didn't know where they were, but we did find them like last week, but I didn't know how to sell them. So I put them on the hat that we got today. So now we have this as one item. It's a, the hat is not Lego branded. It's elope. I guess, but we put the minifigures from our previous episode on the hat. So I think this will actually do really well. So we just finished up the whatnot auction with a lot of the stuff from today's video. Again, this is not everything. We still have a couple things in our wash pile as well as a couple things that didn't make it at all. And I think that camera bag that Haley found today is gonna just get listed on 
our eBay store. But to give you guys an idea, we sold the Dinosaur plush for a whopping $2, but the Magenta plush from the Blue's Clue Show, that one sold for $27. So I'll take an average of those two any day of the week. Uh, the little Snoopy and Woodstock beanie sold for $13. Bucks. Olakai's uh, slip-on shoes sold for $16. Uh, Klepto Cat Plush sold for eight bucks, eleven dollars for that weird stuffed animal that was like an amalgam of all the different animals. I don't know if you guys can. I think you can read all these prices. You know, our, our average selling price was probably like ten or eleven dollars a show. Uh, and then uh, we sold a bunch of Moe's plush in the buy it now section. Uh, I'm gonna take those out of the figures because we did a total gross sales amount of four hundred fifty nine dollars. 385.05 after fees, but after we take out all the Moe's plush that we sold, since those are not part of the house flip series, we are left with $296.70. This is officially the first clip that you've ever seen on our YouTube channel, filmed with our new GoPro 12. 12. Kaylee has the 12, I've got a 12 yes. now. Hopefully it's pretty good. We're back at the bins today. After we pay Dean the $300 for the ceiling fan installation, I believe we have like 90 something dollars, whatever it says in the corner of the screen. What's up Shane, how's it going? <laughs> How's it going? So we've got like $97 in the budget. We're gonna head back into the Goodwill bins today, see if we can add a little bit more to the house budget before today's video is over. What is that? That's a duck, duck platter. Today's not half off day, it's regular prices, so I don't wanna get stuff that's like this so heavy. That'd probably cost about $3. I don't think that's worth it. I'll use that for our flip house. The ceiling mount light. All right, let's see if we can find anything with my new camera today. Is anything interesting? Oh, here's a, um, oh, this is a good bag, but it's ripping apart. Somebody is definitely fighting over there. There's like some yelling a second ago. That don't make no sense. Pretty crazy. There's a, you know, it's pretty cool. Lots of different places to put things. Look at this Fortnite backpack that's filled with stuff. Let's see what it's filled with. Oh, another backpack. And some bed sheets. It's not very exciting. There's Minecraft backpack though, that's kind of cool. It's a little, it's a little dirty, but it's in good shape. Okay, I'm gonna grab that. Got another backpack filled with stuff. Nothing. Oh, we got a candle. A blanket, one of the Thai blankets. Yeah, it's like constellations on one side and cow print on the other. I'll get it. I saw a squishmallow over here. Don't let you over there with the screaming and the yelling. No, the I will not. I will not be over there. I will be staying far away from the screaming and yelling. I guess it's like shoes or something. I don't know. They said it was purses and um, oh, crazy. Got some slipper socks. New attack. Oh look, it's a cat bag. How oh, cool! Like vintagey cat bag. Yeah. Grab that. Super Soaker. 2000, 2001 Super Soaker. I don't know if it works. But I'm gonna get it. You find these bags occasionally. They're like bags that are made out of um, rice bags. I don't know. They're not worth a ton of money, but they're kind of cool. Looks like something that would maybe do well in our booth, or we might just put it up on a whatnot auction. I don't know. It's very lightweight, wouldn't cost much money, so I think I'm gonna grab that. Get this, we got a Donkey Kong plush, that's awesome. He does have a little bit of something on his shoulder over here. Looks like it's kind of wiping off a little bit. Definitely gonna grab him. Wow, is that real? Kate Spade? Feels really nice. I don't know if you want that. Oh, awesome, thank you so much. I know you collect. Yeah, we get plush. Yeah, thank yeah, you. I just don't call that. I well, don't know about that. Thank you so much. It's a Dollywood. I That's mean, cool. I don't know. That's cool. Thank you so much. There you go. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Very kind of you. That's cool. Look at that. More face backpack. Oh, it's got a rip, but I still think it's got some life left in it. Is this another one? Oh my goodness. 
Maybe. It looks good. It feels good. Nike backpack back here. Looks to be fairly simple. It's a little thin, but I'm pretty sure it's a sports bag. It's got these like vented sides to keep shoes in. It's in good shape. I'll grab that. Got this bag right here. I don't see it do anything on the front, but this looks very much like Dooney. But no, it's Coach. Looks like a vintage Coach bag. This feels great. Like the leather just feels very worn, but in a good way, if that makes sense. It's got a couple little wear spots on the bottom. Oh my goodness. It's like these little brackets are coming off. But it's so cool. I think I'm still, I'm still gonna get it. It's definitely real. What is this? Subway, oh my gosh. Let me grab that. And here we got this LL Bean duffel bag. The only thing with these vintage duffel bags, I'm pretty sure it's vintage, is that sometimes they have like a, a waterproof layer on the inside that's peeling off. But this one actually looks pretty good. I don't see any issues. It's probably like a, I don't know, medium size. Oh, let's see if there's a tag that says if it's made in USA or not. Yep, made in USA. Very nice. Got this little Kate Spade bag right here. It's pretty simple. And it looks like this, I think this thing is supposed to be clipped onto something. Or maybe it's just supposed to be looped around like that. And then that thing's supposed to be, yeah, maybe it's that. Yeah, I can grab that. We got two Veer Bradley things here. This is a little wallet. It's modern. It's one of the more modern Veer Bradley logos. So it does have a little stain right there, but this is going to be super easy to just toss in the wash. So I'll grab that. And then we got this suitcase right here. Veer Bradley rolling little duffel bag. Very cute. I just got to double check, make sure all the zippers work. You guys saw earlier on in this video, our first round to the Goodwill bins, we picked up a ton of stuff that was damaged because we just weren't checking things as we go. But this actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. Doesn't even need washing. It's just good to go. I'll grab that. It's awesome. I think there's supposed to be all oh, the handles in here. Let's make sure the handle works. Oh yeah. Beautiful mic. Who's this? Lavenger? Feels nice. It feels new. Oh, the straps right there. It's just fell down. This is an L.L. Bean messenger bag. That's cool. It's an Oakley hat. Fitted, but I'm gonna grab the hat. Oh, that's cool. Jeff Gordon hat. Chase off the next. Is that a Vera? It's Vera Bradley. Almost looks like an R2D2 colorway. <laughs> There's another one. Cute little tote bag. Got this purse right here. I've never heard of this brand. Sophia, Sophia C. Bright pink. In pretty good condition. Kind of one little spot right there, but that should come off. And it is genuine leather made in Italy. That's cool. Grab that. Look at this, folks. Just pulled this out. REI. Very thick. It's like a hiking backpack. It's got the waist. And then this is probably like a hundred dollar backpack right here. And this bin right here at our store, they roll out the big cardboard boxes of stuff. And then these bins start empty. So people have been emptying out these bags from these bins, dumping them over here. I don't know why they're not buying this stuff. I mean, this is a great backpack. No issues. The zippers work. I mean, this is, this is an easy $60 to $80 plus shipping on eBay, eBay all day long. It's got the waist straps. I don't understand it, man. Got this Dooney right here. This is, looks old. Again, it's got that nice old leather feel to it. It's definitely real. It's got the Dooney and Burke red tag in there with the serial number. Let's make sure the zippers work. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's got a little bit of wear to it, but it almost makes it cooler, in my opinion, as someone who doesn't use these kind of bags. Got this one right here. Very cool. It's got like a nice vintage -y look to it. It's got all these really bright tropical fish. I don't know if I can, I don't see a brand anywhere, that's for sure. It's probably just like a souvenir bag from the Caribbean, but it doesn't make it undesirable. 
Zipper works, got a cool wooden fish on there. I think somebody would definitely like this. Grab it, add it to my huge pile of bags here. I have this little penny board here. Goodwill is trying to ask $6 for it, nobody bought it, but it's cool because the wheels light up when you ride it. It'll probably cost about $4 here. I think we can get it, maybe shove it in our booth. This is something like if a kid is going through our booth with their parents, I might want to probably get 10 or $15 for it. Vans, backpack. Some strings hanging loose, but it's in pretty good condition. I saw this logo. Master's hat, Magnolia Lane. Yes, please. Oh, it's Stitch. Oh, how cute. Here's another Disney. What is this? Disney Animal Kingdom. How's it going? Oh, I think I've got, look at my bag. I've got a lot of stuff. Yeah, I've got a ton of stuff too. Mostly bags. Me too. <laughs> what is this? Is that a hot chili? Look at this thing. Hot pepper. Let's get it. We've got a little Versace bag over here. It's like I say in videos all the time, usually fakes are so obvious. Like the stitching on this is crooked. The circle is not cut out evenly. It's peeling. It, the stitching is just coming out of the pocket over here. If this was a real Versace bag, it would be so much better quality. This just feels cheap. I mean, the fabric's ripping. It's just, it's very obvious. I got this R2-D2 thing over here. I didn't know what it was and I found the, I found the manual for it. It's a popcorn popper. Might take a chance on this guy. Probably not worth a ton of money, but it's kind of cool. We got this thing, which I think was actually new in bag at one point, or at least this bag came with it, because this is the fire guy from Frozen 2. Put him back in the bag. Definitely gonna grab him. Looked over here and saw this butt. I thought it was a Cabbage Patch Kid, but it's a troll doll. You guys know we've had really good luck with troll dolls recently. I don't know if there's a tag on him anywhere. Wait, here we go. Russ. Russ Berry. I don't see a date on him. But it looks pretty old. Now we have to go through it and see what we actually need to get. Yes. And if anything's dirty or stained Make or sure ripped. Make sure there's no major stains, major issues. Make sure all the zippers work. Yes. I think we have like $97 in the budget and it's not half price day. So we might spend like, if we get all this stuff, it's going to be close to that. So we'll have to be particular. Okay, I think I'm going to put my justice bag with a hood back. There are some sparklies that are, that are missing. Okay, what do you think of this? This is a really cool North Face bag, it's but it's hole. got a big hole. Mm. Yeah. Tough. I'm not gonna get it. There's there's holes on both sides. I'll just pass. So I went up to the front to get a plush bag. I found this cool garland, like wooden garland. We'll put that in the booth. And then look at this. This is a 1980s G.I. Joe airplane. It is missing the cockpit. It's a Sky Striker. It's from 1983. Just sitting there on top. Just sitting right there. I don't know exactly how much this is worth. It may not even be worth the time, but I know that some GI Joe stuff is worth good money. So I'm gonna get it and look it up. I mean, there's one that's near complete, sold for $252, but ours is not near complete. And it would be pretty difficult to ship. I mean, there's just the plane that sold for 50 with those stickers. Oh, and the wings fold in. That's really cool. I'm gonna get it. Haley had, what was it, Levenger? Yeah, Levenger. Levenger canvas tote bag. It's got yeah. a couple stains, but it's still got the strap on the inside that's never been used. And comps on that are pretty good. There's one right there, sold for 60 bucks, 40 bucks, 45 for just a simple, simple tote. So Levenger, brand we've never heard of before. Now that I'm going through my stuff, I don't think I'm gonna get the skateboard. It's very heavy. I was gonna put it in the booth, but it'll probably cost us like $5. And I, just, I don't know what it would sell for. And it's not like a good one, it's just cool because it has lights in it. Since we're getting most of the stuff, it's going to be really close. It's $1.89 a pound, we probably have like 40 to 50 pounds of stuff. stuff yeah. $87.94. Oh, perfect. Oh, sweet. $87.94. Y'all got a plenty of eggs. Yeah, we loaded up today. Alright, there you go. The deals are too good, can't say no. 
I don't think mm -hmm. we got any clothes today at all. No. Which is great. <laughs> there were no cl clothes out on the floor. Yeah. There was, however, there was some like fighting going on today. Yeah, did you I see that? I did. I don't. It I was just a bunch it. of like yelling. Yeah, I don't know there was, was a lot of on. yelling over like a lot of the bags and stuff, and all of us were just like, "What is going on?" And then it's funny when they like yell and scream over the bags, and then we go through and find. <laughs> yeah, we like, go, I found two all... Kate Spade bags in that area after all those people were fighting. They it's were crazy. so busy fighting that they missed out on like three hundred dollars worth of bags, which which is fun. We try not to get like fights and stuff no. at the Goodwill Bins. Like it happens. I don't know, maybe once every couple months or so, but we're not a drama channel. We're just trying to yeah, buy we're some not cool trying stuff to, to flip. Yeah, we're not trying to like put people out on social media and be like, look, these people are fighting. But yeah. it's just interesting that like, to I mean, that's what, what people the bins are, fighting are like, over. you know? Yeah. It gets kind of crazy sometimes, mm -hmm. but that's part of the fun. Mm -hmm. So Haley and I decided to stop by our antique booth, which is still a work in progress. It doesn't look great right now that we they're actually in the process of building a back wall for us. So once that wall's up, then we can kind of get everything more situated. But we had a couple things out. Nothing is sold yet, unfortunately, but I have high hopes. We have our gumball machine, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, I've been talking about this, I bought this specifically for the yes, booth. Yes, and he's been so excited so about it. So excited. And will not stop talking about it. But we don't have candy for it yet. And I was going to get some candy and I lifted up the sheet, which has like a bunch of stuff we haven't like priced yet and somebody dropped us off a huge box of gumballs and it says josh and haley turner nice to meet you both today consider this a booth warming present your friends the, the sheelies i don't Shout remember who the sheelies are but thank you so much that is that's 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 you know, and they spell my name right too yeah that's bonus that's awesome and bonus this is expensive like this is 850 gumballs that's yeah. probably i mean the gumballs normally cost like the 10 to 15 cents a piece i think so yeah. Now we know we're going to fill up at least one of these containers with gumballs. I think the other two are going to be like, I think gumballs will be in the middle and then like Skittles on one side and like M&Ms on the other. That yeah, way you cover like all your bases. But no, you have to put gumballs on these sides because the slots are not big enough on this one. Well, I think the... So you need a round and those are like... You could still put... Yeah, maybe maybe gum. Well, gumballs either one. One is gumballs. One yeah. is yeah. We'll figure it out. I'm curious to see how long it's going to take us to break even on this gumball machine because it was. <laughs> I, I paid like two hundred and thirty dollars for this gumball machine, and Haley was like, "Are we ever going to become profitable on this?" I'm like, "Yeah, if we make a dollar a day, four four gumballs a day before cost of goods, we'll make our money back in two hundred and thirty days." And that's a dollar a day. Like that's. <laughs> I'm gonna go through a couple of our. I'm not, I'm not gonna call in competitors, colleagues. Colleagues, Colleagues yes. booth, and we're gonna buy some stuff to get the ball rolling. I think the official grand opening of the Antique Mall is like this Friday, maybe? Mm -hmm. So all the booths are rented, but some of them are not like stocked yet because people haven't had a chance to get over here. So we're gonna go through and see what we can buy. I'm gonna get this Bloody Mary <laughs> dog toy. It's only four bucks. Prices here are actually pretty good. Got this paint pour artwork. That's kind of cool. My friend Christy used to make stuff like this. 15 bucks. I like the color on that. Oh, it's got a little Dorito thing behind it <laughs> to, to hold it up. We'll grab one of those. This lady down here sells this freeze dried candy, which I've always wanted to try. I'm gonna try some of the freeze dried sour Skittles. We hesitate calling this an antique mall because as you can see, it's not really antiques. We're gonna treat our booth kind of like a thrift store. So it's gonna be discounted, Yeah. you know, cool items, unique stuff, useful stuff. I love that. That is very cute. I love that. This is the most antique booth we've seen so far. Very this fun. looks so much better than our booth. It does. We need our wall built. No. This nice piece of carnival glass over here. Five bucks for this. That's so cheap. I'm gonna get this. Bon figure is pretty cool. Yeah, I uh, I can usually collect horror figures, but that was one I I collected and I just said, eh, I don't want. It. Yeah. <laughs> but I like the, I like his um. He does horror figures too, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I like his collection. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it. Can I buy it? Yeah, sure. Sweet. Twelve bucks. That's a killer Appreciate deal. It. Yeah. Hey, that's I'm afraid we're buying a bunch of stuff. Oh, I love it. Getting the ball rolling here. So Haley and I are actually headed up to Ohio tomorrow to head to the reseller rally this weekend. So we may not have our antique booth fully situated for another week or so. But if you happen to be in the area of West Columbia, South Carolina next week or so, and you want to stop by our booth or head to the grand opening, which again, I believe is this Friday, uh, the address is 2271 Sunset Boulevard, West Columbia, South Carolina, 29169. The place is called Overstock Marketplace. Uh, and we're really excited. I don't think it's going to be like a huge money-making endeavor for us. We're going to put stuff in the booth that's very fairly priced. Maybe do some drops in the booth. Like if we find something at the Goodwill bins that's worth 150 bucks on eBay, maybe we'll go throw it in the booth for 25 bucks and just say first come, first serve. Also, if you want to buy a gumball, you can go do that. I'm excited to hit our break-even point on that soon. I'll give you guys a little quick update on all of the 
Disney stuff. Haley put both of these shelves together the other day. She did a great job on that. And then this shelf right here is just the Disney Christmas ornaments. The ones on the bottom shelf are all fully broken. You can see like that dragon right there is missing a little arm. These are like partially broken and everything from here up are all great. Like they're perfect condition. Some of these are worth a ton of money. This little Pluto with the bowl ear. I think these are listed on eBay for like $180 or something. I mean, it's just crazy. We have a ton of them. This is after we've already done two shows with Disney stuff. We've already sold 400, like 440 items total between those two shows. Uh, and we've actually done really well with those two shows. So we'll give you an update in a future video. But the fact that we still have all of this stuff left is totally wild to me. And jumping into the items from today's video real fast, I think we hit it out of the park at the bins today. I mean, we love the days when they put out the pallets of bags, the REI backpack, the LL Bean duffel bag. I mean, all sorts of stuff. Three, two or three, maybe even four Kate Spade bags. Uh, looking pretty solid over here. Since we're going to Ohio tomorrow, we don't really have time to do another whatnot auction. Kim is off the rest of the week. So if we did one today, it wouldn't be able to ship until Monday. And that would be outside of the two days that whatnot gives you to ship stuff. So I think we might spend this afternoon, maybe getting some of these items listed on eBay, maybe like the REI backpack and the duffel bag, some of the nicer stuff like that. Uh, and then save everything else for a whatnot auction next week. This tropical fish bag is kind of exciting. I think that would do pretty well in auction. All the plush are super solid. The Donkey Kong. I'm just feeling good. Even though we only have like $10 in the budget right now, I'm feeling good about the potential profit in today's haul. Back at the flip house, I think the next project we're going to be working on that's not really expensive maybe is refinishing this bathtub. The original quote we got to kind of like they come in and spray a sort of epoxy over everything to make it look new again. They're gonna take this towel bar down and like cover it with fiberglass to make it look like it was never there. The same thing with this little broken soap dish down there. The original quote was $900, I think, but that was also including like cutting all this out and replacing the faucet, which we're gonna do ourselves. So I think this will probably be like maybe 600 bucks or so, but we only have $10 <laughs> in the budget right now. Uh, so uh, hopefully we can uh, do pretty well with this whatnot auction and future eBay sales over the weekend uh, and uh, take care of this next project. We also have to get a tile guy out to finish tiling the primary bathroom shower. We've got to get upper cabinets in the kitchen. We've got to get all new flooring in here. We've got to refinish the flooring in the living room and all the bedrooms in the hallway uh, and then paint and the trim on the windows. Yes. And I think that might be everything. And I know that sounds like a lot, but I think if we kind of focus and really, you know, get some good stuff to flip and build our budget, as long as the budget isn't an issue, we should be able to finish this before the first of the year. I'd love to get the house finished and rented to a, a tenant by January 1st. And I think that's doable. Right now it's September, so we got three months to finish all that. What do you think, Haley? It'll be a lot with Q4 coming up. It'll yeah. be a lot. But we got all the excited. Disney stuff. We got Q4. Yes. We, we have a lot going on, but yes. I think it's a very doable goal. We also have the outside porch area here that has the, oh, my voice just cracked a it little did. bit. <laughs> we it have this, has this old like wrought iron type stuff, and this is not to code anymore. So if we change anything, we'll have to like build it a little bit differently. But I don't know. It's just like all rusty and peely. I feel like if we paint it, it would look a little bit better from the Maybe, road, but it but wouldn't really look that great. It would just be putting a Band-Aid on it. Yeah, and not really, I don't know. The only other option is building like, a, like taking all this down and replacing it with wood and like building stuff, but that's not really necessary. So I don't know. Either way, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down, down below if you haven't already, and we will catch you guys on, on the, the next one. one.